guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another fun collaboration for you guys. This is with some ladies over from the YouTube Mommy Meetup and we are doing our top five favorite books and toys for our children. <laughs> for me to pick because as you guys know I have a daughter and a son so even though some books are are great for both um, most books they read different things so I tried to narrow it down to just five books five favorite books for both of them but if you'd like to see some more favorites um, specific favorites for them let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to make another video about it my kids are avid re readers like I've had to um, go into Junior's room and take his book away from him for reading way past bedtime more times than I can count so they just love to read books um, as you guys have seen from like Christmas and birthday videos and stuff books are always great gifts for them it's something they love um, I think they like books more than they like toys we have like an array of different kinds of books but I picked some that I know are their favorites and that I think would be great for other children to read so let's just get started so like I said I tried to narrow it down to just five favorites I picked two favorites for each child and then one that I know they both enjoy reading um, and I think there's going to be a little bit of crossover on two of the books but the first book I'm going to start off with um, this is actually a series it's the Never Girls series and these are books about girls that find a loophole and end off in Neverland and um, they like meet Tinkerbell and all the fairy friends and um, and all the characters in Neverland. So um, there are more than this. Right now Kaylee's has one through nine. She read these when she was in first grade. These are pretty easy reads um, for her. Let me pull one out. I guess I should say that Kaylee's is reading at a fourth grade ninth month level and Junior is reading at a third grade ninth or sixth month level. So they're pretty advanced readers. Um, I think Kaylee's is reading a book right now that is a fifth grade level book and she's not having much trouble with it. I think there was like two or three words that she's asked me for help on. So um, these Never Girl books are pretty easy reads for them, um, for her. You could see the word sizing and stuff. Um, it doesn't say, oh yeah it does, reading level 2.4. She read these in first grade. Um, she can finish these in a day. Um, they're not that hard and like I said she's an avid reader so she reads pretty quickly um, but um, these books are really cute so we have collection one and collection two there are new books that have come out that I need to order her from Amazon because she's been begging for them but she's gotten so many books I'm holding off I'm thinking maybe Easter time might be okay for it I'm not sure so um, these are accelerated reader books so if you don't know what accelerated reader is it's a program I know a lot of schools do where um, you sign in to Renaissance Learning is the company I think that does it and they have tests for comprehension for the kids and they earn points and at least in our school we have point clubs and prizes for points and stuff so these are accelerated readers or AR books so that's awesome um, and she has tested on all of them but I would definitely recommend them. They're not expensive. I think the sets were $15 to $20 each, but they bring, this one brings five books. This one brings four. And um, we also got her like a journal that like asks her questions about the book and what she would do if she was the girls. And she really loves that too. I definitely recommend these books for little girls. They're awesome. The next book is another um, book that Kate, well, series of books, I only grabbed one. We have like three or four of these, but most of them she's just taken from the library um, that Kaylee's loves. And these are the Judy Moody books. These are written by Megan McDonald, and she also came out with, um, Junior's actually reading it currently, um, Judy Moody and Stink series, which is a series of um, Judy Moody and her brother. So they're more relatable for boys and girls, so that's I really like them. Um, I think Junior would just read a Judy Moody book fine. He's not like, oh, that's a girl book. If it's something that interests him, he'll read it. He's reading the Judy Moody and Stink book right now. 
and he also does own a Stink. Um, there's a series that's just Stink too. So Stink is Judy Moody's brother, if you don't know. Um, these say they're for ages six to nine. So that's like first to what? Uh, third grade? But um, these are a little bit longer, but the, word, the text isn't super small. So um, my kids really like Judy Moody, Judy Moody and Stink, and the Stink books. So I definitely recommend these for school age children. So those were my two that were, I guess, girl books, even though um, the Judy Moody both of my kids read. The next books I want to talk about is Captain Underpants. I personally think these books are disgusting, but my son enjoys them so much. He has two of them and he has checked out a few from the library. They have pictures in them. This one's black and white. He does have one. I did grab that one that has colored pictures in it. And they are pretty easy reads for him. I think it took him maybe two days to read this one. And let me see if it has a reading level. have a reading level but they're not hard reads you can see the text size and they have a picture on almost every page so and they're all about something that has to do with toilets so I think it's gross I mean, some thinks it's hilarious so if you have a little boy that has a good sense of humor like that um, you might want to look up the Captain Underpants series there's a bunch of books this one's the 11th and these are by um, Dave or Gav Pilkey so I would definitely recommend these. And again, these are also AR books, as are the Judy Moody and Stink and the Stink series. My daughter would not read the Captain Underpants books. She thinks they're gross. But um, the next book is one that they both read. I, we have quite a few of these. Um, these are the Magic Treehouse books. And um, this is a Merlin Mission one. And these are by Mary Pope Osborne. And these are very popular among the kids I know from volunteering in the school library that they continue to be popular all the way up for many grades. So um, my kids both started reading them um, in first grade. And this one, they all have different reading levels. So you'd have to, I guess, go buy each book, like look at each book and see what the reading level is. I don't know what the reading level is of this one because it doesn't say. But this one's the Haunted Castle on Hollow's Eve, and these are the Merlin Mission. We have a bunch of different ones. Junior is currently obsessed with these kind of books. Um, he just loves Magic Tree House. It'll take him a day to two days to read a book, depending on the length and the level of it, but he loves them. Haley's also likes some of them, I should say. There's some of them that she's just not interested in, and I think that's just because she's not a history person. She's more of like a fantasy type um, like fairies and princesses and things like that whereas um, Junior likes historical stuff so there's like first one's about Houdini and it has like some historical facts about Houdini and Thanksgiving on Thursday is one of them that I know he's read and just there's a bunch of them so they're kind of like historical so they teach them a little bit about history but at the same time they're non-fiction books so you know and it's about these two kids their brother and a sister and they have a magic tree house that takes them to all different times in history and they have to like solve a problem there so these are really cute books for school age kids as well and like I said they're all different levels um, they have all different subjects so there's they're interesting for a lot of different kids and then the last book I grabbed is actually not a chapter book because I wanted to include something that's not a chapter book because my kids are still in first and second grade. They're still young. They do still like reading just regular picture books. Um, we read them a lot as a family, even though they're very into their chapter books. So um, I grabbed the Fly Guy books, and this was one that we bought Junior for Christmas at the Scholastic Sale. Again, another AR books. All the books I'm showing you are AR books. I try to stick to buying them because the AR points... Um, are a huge like competitive thing for the kids in school. Fly Guy is a series as well. We only have one, but we've checked out a bunch from the library and they have ones that have a lot of scientific facts and then they have also ones that are just like nonfiction books like this. And Fly Guy is this little fly and this is his owner, Buzz. And um, it's just stories about them. And the kids really enjoy these. Both of the kids really enjoy these. They think they're funny and 
The, the ones with facts, like scientific ones, are really cool because they teach kids a lot of facts that I don't think they would otherwise pick up on that quickly. And um, Junior, you can ask him about the solar system and he can tell you so much about it because of reading a Fly Guy book. So I definitely recommend these for your school age kids. I think they are, um, their level is more like first through third grade. So those are my kids' top five favorite books. Um, I tried, I didn't, I asked them for input and they gave me so many so I tried to narrow it down to five from there and five that I know like I can't go wrong with. If I buy that kind of book I know that they're going to love. Currently, like I said, Junior is reading a Judy Moody and Stink chapter book that he started yesterday and Kaylee's is reading a Dork Diaries book. My kids have both read the first book of the Diary of the Wimpy Kid. They both enjoyed it. I think it's a little bit too mature for Junior. I, it might be a little bit too mature for both of them, but I think it's a little bit too mature for Junior in level, reading level wise. Um, Kaylee's did great on her AR test. Junior didn't do as well. Those are also good books. Like I said, I could go on and on talking about great books for kids. Um, but I'm gonna cut it off now and just talk about the top five. If you would like to see more videos about all different kinds of books from us and see what my kids are reading and what they enjoy, let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely post another video about that. Like I said, this is a collab with other moms from the YouTube Mommy Meetup, so I'm gonna link them all down below. Make sure you check them all out. We're all talking about top five books for our kids, books and toys for our kids. I didn't do toys because my kids aren't that into toys right now, um, but books definitely we love in this house. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your children's favorite books are in the comments down below, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.